So, in a few hours, Universal will be announcing their third theme park. Or not, we don't really know. All we've got is a tweet to go by, but all signs kind of point to a new third theme park. Uh, for those of you who don't know, basically uh, Comcast, which owns Universal Studios, bought a huge amount of land south of the current Universal in Orlando, and it's big enough to hold a theme park and then some. Um, all signs point to a new theme park, and I thought it might be kind of interesting to do a quick little video just talking about what I think is going to be built. I'm sure everyone else is doing the same, so here goes my, uh, my, uh, my guess. Well, uh, basically, it will be Islands of Adventure 2. I, I love Universal Studios. I love Islands of Adventure. But I notice Universal really doesn't do the singular theme park style. Um, Disney's got, you know, a theme park based on the making of movies. Uh, 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 a theme park about the world and its future, and of course, a theme park all about wildlife. And yeah, Universal Studios, the base park, was about making movies, but they've long since moved away from that. I mean, you could go into uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and find no references to movie making in there. So I think with this new park, they're just going to stick to that style. It's going to be a land based on different properties separated between them it will be islands of adventure 2 which is not a bad thing islands of adventure is a great theme park one of my favorites maybe my my, my favorite for the longest time um but yeah that's just that's how i think it's going to play out um as for what's going into the park that's where a lot of people aren't sure about um the biggest rumor of course is nintendo and I mean, it's very much likely that it's going to be Nintendo. Not an entire park about Nintendo. I mean, I would love that. I think Nintendo has enough property to absolutely make their own theme park. I think an entire land based on Mario and Zelda and Donkey Kong and Pokemon could absolutely work. But Universal, and or to an extent, Comcast is not going to spend all that money on property they don't own. Nintendo will be a big portion of the park, but... It's not going to be all about them. As a matter of fact, I've been trying to keep my expectations low. Very low. I saw that some um, leaks have gotten out uh, showing off a Mario land and a Donkey Kong Country land. Donkey Kong Country, whatever. Um, and I, I feel like that might be all we get. I don't think we're going to see Zelda and definitely not Pokemon. I'd love to see Pokemon... But Nintendo doesn't entirely own Pokemon. It's kind of split between them and uh, Game Freak and Creatures. So, I mean, if you've noticed, not every time Pokemon is mentioned, Nintendo is mentioned. I, I, I just, I don't think Pokemon's going to be there just yet. Especially after Universal passed on the chance to publish the Detective Pikachu movie, which I don't understand why they did that. But I think, for the most part, we will get Mario and Donkey Kong. Or, or maybe something completely different. Those were just models, so I don't know. I, but I don't think it's going to be a huge portion of the park. I would love it to be. But I'm thinking maybe one-third of the park. Maybe less than that. Maybe one-fourth of it. As for the rest of it, I think that one big factor that I haven't really seen many people talk about... Well, I mean, a few have... DreamWorks. Comcast bought DreamWorks, but they've done next to nothing with their properties in the parks. At least over here in or uh, Florida. They they haven't really done anything with uh, Kung Fu Panda, How to Train Your Dragon, or even Shrek. There's the show, but that thing's been up since long before they bought DreamWorks. Now over at Hollywood, uh, Universal Studios Hollywood, they did put up uh, Kung Fu Panda, but they really haven't done much. So I could definitely see a bigger imprint of DreamWorks at this park. I really think we're going to see a lot about DreamWorks. Um, and I, th I think that might be... I think the park's going to be mostly Nintendo, DreamWorks, and more Harry Potter. For me, I, I, I love the Harry Potter lands a ton. They are some of the nicest, well-themed, like best-to-walk-through places in a theme park I've ever been to. But it is strange having Harry Potter split between two parks. And I think they'll continue that. I think 
Harry Potter's just such a big cash cow for Universal that they're going to do the same. And all signs are pointing to a land based on Fantastic Beasts, which has not been doing very well in movie theaters. I think financially it's doing okay, but critically it's getting pretty badly panned. And I know they're not making nearly as much money as the original Potter movies. So who knows? Maybe maybe we'll just get more Harry Potter. Maybe they'll just skip over Fantastic Beasts altogether. Um, but I I mean I have a strong feeling those three are going to be at the park: Nintendo, DreamWorks, and Harry Potter. Now I did hear one rumor, and I would love it, but I just don't know how much of a imprint it'll have on the park. And that's Universal's classic movie monsters. I, I heard a rumor that we might get a land based on them. That would be amazing. Like, a sweet Eastern European medieval era village with rides based on Frankenstein, the Wolfman, and Dracula. That would be so awesome. But I just, I just don't, I don't, I, I don't think Comcast really truly understands what they can do with those properties. But then again, I did see that they changed out the Terminator store into a um, Universal Monsters store. Like, it's all decked out in monsters, and I thought that was awesome. I was... That was so cool. Uh, but I, I don't know. I just... I don't know. That one... That one, I just don't know if it's going to happen. I'd love for it to happen, but I don't know. I don't know. But there, that, I, I think that's about it. I really don't know what else Universal can put over there. Universal just doesn't have a ton of properties themselves. Especially with Disney buying up everything. Man, I mean... Universal can pretty much just use what they have. Uh, Viacom and Warner Brothers at this point, right? And I don't think Viacom's gonna do anything with them ever again. I don't think we're ever gonna see Nick... Well, no, they got the Spongebob store. I think Universal should definitely go back to bringing up some Nickelodeon properties, or at least uh, the channel as a franchise? I don't know. I don't know. But hey, I just wanted to record, you know, my opinions. I want to see what happens, and I'm definitely going to re uh, record my reaction to what is announced, because I am, I am so excited. I, I really am, and I am trying not to be too excited, because the hype can kill something. I mean, the, the imagination of what a a park based around Nintendo properties has been something I've had since I was a kid playing Roller Coaster Tycoon. I made a freaking Nintendo theme park in Roller Coaster Tycoon, and I, I could just imagine all sorts of rides based on Mario, The Legend of Zelda, Donkey Kong, Pokemon, Metroid, Star Fox, Kirby, oh my god. Just, just the ideas are endless, and oh, I just don't want to be disappointed, but I guess only time will tell. See ya.